everybody. Hello. We're going to take a peek inside the complete RV travel planner. If you've ever wondered about what it was like or how you might be able to learn to travel plan better while you travel in your RV, stay tuned. We've got something for you today. That's right. Hey, hello, welcome to the RV Living Show. We're Brian and Luann Street, where the streets wander. You know, that's an RV website that offers inspiration, education, and is uh, for the RV lifestyle. Yeah, so welcome, you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Um, as Brian said, this is our RV Living Show, and this one uh, might take a little bit longer today because we're going to actually go through our complete RV travel planner. Why don't you grab a planner, Brian, so we can show them. Good idea. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to take a peek inside it today. So we give you a little background about the Complete RV Travel Planner. This planner was born out of necessity um, in our own RV life. We um, started full-time RVing, and as we started to make travel plans and reservations, we quickly got overwhelmed and um which was one of the reasons that we developed our campground reservation log and if if you, you guys aren't familiar with that at all then we want you to get a free one that's above or below this video depending on where you're watching either on youtube or on facebook um the campground reservation log and we did another video on that a couple weeks ago that take you step by step through that that whole thing so we just kind of struggled in our our first months of travel planning as we were full timers and so tell them tell them yeah, a little bit well, about what was going on well when we first got our first rv we could plan for a weekend here or there that was seem we seemed to could manage that when we could find a paper we wrote it down <laughs> But then as we went full time, we realized that we're planning uh, reservations and, and, and campgrounds, maybe some of them even a year in advance. It is very hard to track and very hard to keep up with. So we knew that we had to come up with a resource that, that would work, that we could track everything and just uh, basically keep it in one place. It, it, and this does so much more than just keep your uh, campground reservations. As we go through the planner, you'll see all the detail that's put in this book. There's a lot of thought went into this and it's a really great resource. So to give you a little background too, as to what was going on in the RV before, as we started to create this. So Brian would call a campground and he would make a reservation and he'd, you know, put it on whatever thing he had going on at the time, whether it was Google calendar or whatever. Well, and then I would ask questions. Okay, well, where are we going next? Well, he'd have to go look it up. And then I'd say, well, what are we booked for? You know, and he'd have to go, you know, figure that out. And then I'd say, well, maybe, maybe we could stop here before we get there. So what would it take to change our reservation? Well, we didn't know what our cancellation policy was. So there was a lot of missing information. There was a lot of missing information. So we developed that campground reservation log as the cornerstone to the complete RV travel planner. Mm -hmm. So the complete RV travel planner is in its third year. Uh, this is the 2021 version. We offer a spiral bound and a PDF version, which you can check out in the cart. But for today, we're going to kind of go through it page by page. We created some slides for you so that you could actually see what's inside the travel planner and decide whether it's right for you. That's right. So um, I'm going to peek over here and see if anybody's commented. Oh, Dolly's here. She said we're her favorite RVers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll soon be your favorite RVer, Dolly. <laughs> so, okay. So um, we're going to switch to some slides here take us away and take this off hold on one second there's always technology to deal with anyway welcome um to all of you who are watching with us live and if you're on the replay we're going to be answering questions about it at the end of the um the live presentation so you can put your questions in the comments we'll come back to them answer them live and if you're on the replay you can still put your and uh, questions in the comments and we will uh, come into Facebook or YouTube and put the answers there. That's so, right. all right. So um, there's the cover of the uh, 2021 travel planner. And as you can see this year, um, for those of you who have had it in the past, we've, we did a departure this year from a graphic design standpoint. We put um, a full color 
uh, photo on there. So that that is a new thing for 2021. So, Brian, why don't you tell us about the Just In Case page? Yeah, when you open it up, we uh, this Just In Case page is something that uh, we developed, and was it like in the later ones, and we realized that this information is very important to have. Like when we go into a campground, first of all, you, you, if you're going to, you need their address for a lot of reasons, especially if, you know, if it were uh, an emergency were to happen, you'd have to call 911 or something. You need to know where you're at. Uh, and some other things like the nearest hospital. We came across a case where we needed to find a hospital and we had to go look it up. So this, putting this information in right up front, like your, uh, the urgent care, uh, um, if you got pets, the nearest veterinarian is very important. And also we just added a uh, weather alert radio. Uh, this is important, to, especially for full timers to, to, to know what uh, weather is you know coming your way and, and how to prepare for it. And also, if you notice, the page is laminated. Uh, we lam we did this so that you can use a dry erase and you can reuse this page over and over for each campground you go into. So it, we, we suggest that we take you take this with you into the office when you're making when you're actually checking in. Ask them this information. Most of the time, they'll have this all available for you. Yeah, that way it's quick and easy to fill out. Mm -hmm. So as we go through, the next page is a. Uh, a introduction page where you're going to want to put your name and your phone and your email in case you ever lose it. You're going to want it back because all your travel plans are going to be in here. Mm -hmm. So as we go through, our first section is called the RV Info section. That's right. Let's go ahead and go to the next page and we can talk about it. There. Okay. So the first thing is our RV maintenance tracker. There, or did I miss a page? I think we missed a page. Just back it up. There we oh, go. Oh, sorry. All right, my RV info. Now, this is uh, we put this in here because you do, to know your stats on your RV is important when you're traveling. You know, like uh, for instance, you got you can have uh, your your make, your model, your, the year your RV. Uh, your your tag number is important. A lot of times they require a tag number when you check in. Uh, you know your weight. The, do you know exactly how much your your RV weighs? Fully loaded. That fully is. loaded. That is. You know, the, all this is important, especially when you look at how tall it is or how wide it is. You know, this is information if you're not sure of and you're traveling, you you need to know this because of underpasses. Uh, when a lot of times, old when they have those uh, uh, the heights on those underpass, you need to know you're going to fit under that. That's right. And, and uh, another thing is is how wide is your RV? How many people really know how wide the RV is? If you're going down the road. And they've got a, a lane that's down to nine foot wide. Are you going to fit through it? Okay, you know things like this is important information as you're, especially as you're RVing and traveling. And you're not going to remember those things off the top of your head when you're driving down the road. Um, so you know if you if you take the time to write them down, then you most likely will remember them when you're driving and can make those quick decisions. That's right. So the next page is the useful RV weights and measures. Um, we included conversions. Uh, for traveling to Canada, because if your RV doesn't convert um, to uh, kilometers, uh, as far as mileage goes or miles per hour goes, you can use this conversion chart to tell you how fast you're going, um, which is a really cool feature. And also with the Celsius to Fahrenheit, if you're in another, if you're in Canada and they're telling you it's some degree Celsius and you want to convert it to Fahrenheit, we got that. We got you covered with that too. That's right. Now, this was something we just added for 2021, and uh, this is an RV maintenance tracker. Uh, there is each section here. You've got the, if you look at each section, you've got a, chass, a, a section for your chassis, your electrical, your water systems, uh, your home, or that's your house section, actually, uh, exterior, and your safety. Now, each one of these is, a, is, a, is actually a great way for you to track your maintenance on your RV. Now, this is not a complete list because each RV is unique and you're going to have things unique to your RV. But if you notice under each one of those sections, there's space where you can add any uh, thing that's unique to your RV or anything you want to track as far as your maintenance. And it's, it's uh, this area is really good because a lot of ma actually monthly maintenance is easily overlooked. And unless you have it in front of you and actually, you know, if, I, I have a hard time remembering. That's why I love this page because 
for instance, uh, there's things you, you should do monthly, you know, weekly, and taking care of your RV is your number one thing to making sure you are traveling and, and enjoy your travels because everything's going to work properly. That's right. And there's space for you to add your own things that maybe are unique to your RV that you want to remember. That's right. So as we move on, the next section is called the planning ahead section. And we have section um, to create your travel bucket lists. And we have these at the beginning so that as you start your planning for the year, you can just do a brain dump of everywhere you might want to go. Whether it's this year or not, you can use this as a massive bucket list to keep drawing ideas from. And as we move forward in the planning for travel section, then we have a year at a glance for the two years, um, the current year and the next year. Yep. For planning ahead. For planning ahead. And then we move into the destination section. And this is the meat of the whole the whole planner that you're going to be planning and actually recording all of your, your travel plans in here. And this is just a sample. We're not going to show you every page. No, we just a sample here. This is a sample of January. This is a month at a glance. So why don't you talk about how, how you use this? Well, we went to a two-page spread here, so it would give you plenty of room to write. Uh, information here for each whatever you want to put in here whether it be the name of the campground uh, uh, things you may want to see on your trip this is a great way to start uh, planning your, uh, your your month out and also there is a in if you well if you buy the, uh, the planner we have videos that explain exactly how this page was made there is a, actually a a system as kind of a system we, we develop that enables you to track your reservations very easily using this type of setup. We won't go into that here, but if you get the planner, there's actually a lot more information well, on training this training video. There's actually yep. some training information um, that goes along with that. So on all through the planner, we've put in some inspirational quotes for you to see. That way um, it can kind of keep you motivated to keep up with, you know, living your best RV life. So then we have the following, so following the month, you have your weekly pages. And you can see here that it transitions from December into January, and the whole week at a glance is ready for you to do. You can make lists, and you can put in daily kind of diary type things um, as you go through and plan all, your, all of your destinations on these types of pages. Right. Each different month, um, is a different color. As you move through the planner, you will move through different colors. And the new thing for 2021 is we now have built-in tabs. Instead of having tabs on the external part of the book, we've put the tabs in, on this section right here on both of the pages so that you can actually take the planner and, and thumb it and then be able to find the tab that you need and they're all color coordinated for the month also. Yeah, one, one another note on this page is that uh, this is also uh, part of the training. We we have a kind of a good way to use this and makes it very easy to, you know, plan activities. So when you see the training, you see exactly how this the design of this works. And uh, I think you're really going to like that part. So now this, like we said, was the cornerstone of of our planner and this has evolved ever since it came out in 2017 now this campground reservation log has been redesigned once again uh, for 2021 and we include nine to ten of those per month and again if this is your first time ever being you know part of the the travel planner or the any travel planning videos you can get a free one of these camp chrome reservation logs they don't quite look like this these are unique to inside the planner but you can get started um at the link above this video yeah these are really good because you got all your campground information right here and and there's a couple of very important things in there is like the cancellation policy we talked about that earlier you need to know these things when you make that reservation so if you ever need to go back and make a change, you've got all everything you need right here to you know, make a, an educated decision, I say. <laughs> yeah, and so we've included nine to ten campground re reservation logs each month with the planner. So now we go into the, um, the back of the month, and it's our uh, travel expense logs. Right. We've included a travel expense log. Uh, if you back up one page here, it shows that we oh, have, sorry. We have missed a page. This is a... Uh, 
the full thing, you have to turn it sideways. We wanted to do it sideways because there's just so much information you needed to track. And if you look across here, you got a place for campground expenses, you know, daily expenses, and it, it's some travel expenses. Uh, you can keep track of uh, the, your, you know, your gas, your costs. Uh, you can even keep track of your gas mileage, uh, your camping fees. You know, this is really good if, you, if you're trying to stay like within a certain budget each month. You've got a place here to record everything. And uh, this is really letting you know. Also, it's a good reminder where you've been and how much money you, you've spent on maybe uh, fuel cost or whatever, whatever comes up in your, in your, in your trying to track. So as we move on to the next section, we're going to go into RV life and planning ahead. So you've spent um, or you've used the destination sections, which is 12 monthly calendars and 52 weekly two page spreads so that you can plan out your your travels and your activities while keeping your life all together inside your travel planner. But then there's other parts of your RV life that you want to consider um keeping track of. So we included a section called RV Life. And RV Life includes a pet page that includes all of um, a space for three different pets that you have. If you need more, you can copy this page and stick it in your planner. But that way you have all the information for each pet, um, what their vaccinations are and everything so that you have that um, information at a glance inside your planner. Yeah, really good when you're going to another veterinarian to to show when they had, their, if they asked you anything, you know, like vaccinations when they had them, you'll know you have a record of it right there. And next, you'll come across the, the phone and address page. You know, this is a, we put this page in because they maybe certain numbers that uh, you you'll need to keep on hand, but maybe not necessarily keep them in your phone. Some like roadside assistance, you know, RV insurance. Uh, you know, truck and tow insurance, you know, campground memberships. If you need to know the campground membership number, that's really nice uh, to have all this information in one place. Maybe some special uh, names and addresses of, of either repair shops or something that you may need down the road. You've got a place to put all this information. So then we include some future travel ideas. So this is broken down a little bit differently than your bucket list in the beginning. This is for 2022, 23, 24, and 25, since it's the 2021 edition of the Travel Planner. And this is a place for you to write down things or plan your future travels. So I don't know about you, but I get FOMO and I'm always like, oh my gosh, if we don't see it now, when are we going to see it? And this way, I know that in 2024, where I'm actually going to make it to whatever state, like let, let's use Alaska for an example. Um, so in 2024, we could want to go to Alaska and I could write down all the things that I want to do and see while we make that visit to Alaska. So these, this is a great way to do your big picture planning. That's, that's what it's here for. Mm -hmm. So in the next section is U.S. and Canada travel ideas. Uh, this is part of our planning ahead section also. So back to the whole theory about um, writing down ideas by state, this is where this comes into play. You're sitting around the campfire and people are telling you that was such a great place in Louisiana that we had dinner and you want to remember that you would come in here, put it in your travel planner. And when you go to Louisiana, you're going to be able to um, find, know what that restaurant is. Yeah. There's so many things we've been told. And before we had this implemented, uh, we could write them on a piece of paper. We try to remember them, try to find them. Couldn't I mean, do it. I even had them in my app uh, on my phone. I had an app that, uh, like a Keep app or a Notes app, if you're uh, Apple or Android, I use Keep. And I would write things in there, but then I couldn't, I would, they would mess up or miss, I would miss them in the middle of all those different things that I had in there. So this, to me, this was a lot easier. I could open up the book and go, now we're going to Massachusetts. What are all these great places that people told us about so that we don't miss anything? Yeah. And also, if you ship the next page here is for Canada, we have we included uh, uh, provinces there. Yeah. Canada. So there's, there's 50, 50 states and we've included the national parks for you because we just thought that that was something that everybody would probably want to see when they visit that state. And then in the provinces, we've got their national parks also listed so that you don't miss out on those. 
So then on the back cover, back cover, we got emergency, num you know, emergency phone numbers by state, you know, uh, 911 normally gets you, um, uh, uh, there's always an emergency number you can call. Sometimes they have special ones for the state police, like star 77 or whatever state you're in. So this is a, this is good to know if you, you know, something comes up, you need to get a hold of the state police. Uh, you've got a, a, a number to contact them directly. And then um, that's laminated. So that's the inside of the back cover. And then the back cover uh, has a so little bit of inspiration here. Where will you go next? You know, a little brain food there so you can figure it out. We also have a QR code that you can download our Travel Planner Companion app, which is basically our campground reservation log in the form of an app. Mm -hmm. Currently, it's free. Um, we are planning an upgrade to it in the next six months that will be um, a, a small paid version so that you can actually log in and you're going to be able to keep all of your information and be able to log in. And if anything happens to your phone, you're going to be able to go. You'll have an account, basically, and you'll be able to download that. We also want to eventually turn the app into a digital um, travel planner, and we're going to be working on that with our developer in the next next um, six months to a year. So it takes a little time on that. It is going to take some time. Well, guys, this was great to do this with you today. We hope you enjoyed the tour of our complete RV travel planner. So again, you can check it out at um, rvtravelplanner.com. Let me put that up there. Um, and also, we have some comments. So let me get started here. So Lloyd Dennis is hi from South Carolina. Great, Lloyd, thanks for joining us. Yeah, we, um, we're in South Carolina. I was gonna say we're we're kind of close to your neck of the woods or, or used to be when we lived in Asheville. So, and Kimberly says, so thankful I got one this year. This is the best travel planner ever. Easy and simple to use. Plus I can attach park brochures, gas receipts and document favorite stops. So. Thank you so much for creating this planner. Well, Kimberly, thank you. Thank that you, thank really you. blesses us. Thank you. Um, and someone said they just ordered the PDF planner. Will you have access to the videos? Yes, you will. Yes. Um, so in in the in the email that you get, it will have the link. And also in the how to use pages in the front of the planner is the link to the travel resources page. So if you don't have it, so on one of these pages, you'll have the link. Mm -hmm. And Chris says, hi from Illinois. Hi, Chris. Mm -hmm. And Lloyd's from Moore. Uh, where's Moore? I'm not sure I know Moore. Not sure. No. Mm -hmm. But anyway, good. Yeah, South Carolina is a great state. We, um, we like going through there. And we, of course, we love the mountains and then the coast, right? Mm -hmm. So if there aren't any more questions, we just want to really thank you for joining us today. Um, it was fun going through our baby because that's what we feel like. Um, just to tell you a little bit more of some inside stuff that went on. For the first three years, Brian and I um, print, had this printed and then we stored it under our in the belly of the RV. And when you guys would order, we would ship them from wherever we were. Well, now we're getting a little too big to do that. So this year we pivoted our business and we found a fulfillment center that's coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. And they have our planners there. And when you guys order, they ship them. And that has been a huge, huge um, thing for us. It's really taken a lot off our plate of having to ship them ourselves, even though it was kind of cool. It's like, you know, oh, it's shipped from Michigan. <laughs> and no, but anyway. Yeah, well, one last thing is talk about the pins. We have a very special. Oh, for a limited time, if you order the spiral bound version, we have a friction, a free fr friction um, Erasable. Uh, thank you. Erasable <laughs> pen that has our travel planner logo on it, and it comes free with your your uh, your spiral bound printer. Yeah. So uh, those will be shipping out for a limited time. As long as we have stock of them, um, you will get one with your planner. So if you yeah. really want one of those, then don't don't miss out. Those pens aren't inexpensive. I don't know if you've ever bought them. But they they average between um, three and four dollars a piece, so it's kind of a nice perk to get one for free. Yeah, we do recommend using them, and because uh, you 
oh, want yeah. to erase things and make changes, uh, you're, you're able to do with those pins. And it's, uh, it's a, just a, a nice tool to use. It is a super nice tool. We were super excited to find these pins because I like to write in pen. I don't like to write in pencil, but I want to be able to erase. So it's a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, near Spartanburg. Oh, okay. Lloyd, great. Yeah, Spartanburg. We love Greenville, Spartanburg. We yeah. go down there quite a bit. Yeah, Greenville. We... we love Greenville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chris says, thank you for all your info and tips. Well, thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. We appreciate all of you guys who have been with us um, through the years and also on these lives. It really makes it um, exciting to see people show up and, and learn and that, you know, what we're providing is valuable and we appreciate all of you so much. Yeah, we do. So, all right. Well, next week on the RV Living Show, we're going to be discussing hobbies and the types of hobbies that you might want to have or create or get for your new RV life. So stay tuned yeah. next week, Wednesday afternoon, YouTube and Facebook, East 2 p.m. Eastern time. And we kind of call it our almost weekly show because every once in a while we'll take a Wednesday off, but we will be here next week and we'll see you then for all about hobbies. Hobbies going to be great. All right. We'll see you then. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you. Thank you. Bye.